Hello everybody, so it's the Minifig Guru and today I have a bit of a different style of video. Well, it's like a new type of video but I'm doing it in a different style so today if you couldn't tell by the title it's going to be How Accurate Is It? And uh, this one today is going to be the 2010 Hogwarts Castle. Um, so it's four parts here, we're going to go through part by part. <laughs> um, if you also, you know, this is kind of just like if, hang on, if you're wondering, yes I do have Legos so. Uh, I thought it would be cool to do it this way. So, uh, obviously there is an expansion to this, which I do own, and that is going to be the 2011 expansion where there's two towers in the middle of the little viaduct. Uh, but we're going to just do this set. Uh, you know, those two st are in the same style, so you are supposed to connect them. But we're going to go through piece by piece and uh, talk about how accurate it is. So we're going to move these out of the way and start with the section on the very, uh, I want to say it would be, well, I think you're supposed to put it on the very far left, but nonetheless, here it is. So let's start with the exterior. This isn't a necessarily, uh, like, standout portion of the castle. You know, with the recent ones, and I like this a lot, you're getting the these big important parts. So we got the kind of dorms in Great Hall. We got the, which weren't, there weren't dorms inside, but the little part that connects to the Great Hall. We got the iconic clock tower, and we got the iconic astronomy tower, and then some pieces to connect it. With this, uh, there's kind of two iconic pieces over here that I'll take a look at in a second. But then you got these two other pieces that aren't so iconic, but have iconic stuff. Now, this is, could necessarily be in the actual castle. Uh, there's a little part that goes, uh, you know, next to the astronomy tower and it's like the big just kind of normal castle part where there's these big hallways and walls. It's not very visually interesting like the astronomy tower or the great hall, but it's there. So you could pretend it's here. There are classrooms in that area and this actually has some stuff down here. So, uh, you could say it's in there, but taking with the interior here, we have, uh, Dumbledore's office and then the, uh, kind of trophy room and so a chest in there so in terms of accuracy down here in the trophy room it's not too accurate uh in terms of space from the trophy room to the cast or to dumbledore's office they could be close but we know that they're definitely not on top of each other this is because dumbledore's office has the gold thing that leads to a gold staircase Granted, this staircase does look similar to this gray one. It would just maybe be better if it was in a different color, but, you know. Uh, we have some paintings here. Again, not accurate, but definitely there for some uh, detail. And they do add some stuff. So you got that purple and that red one. When we take a look up here, Dumbledore's office, again, is not too accurate. Uh, from his little table here to these potion shelves, None of it is really too accurate. In his actual office, it's much bigger, but obviously you can't do with that, even with the more recent one that comes in the clock tower. But, you know, we would have Dumbledore's chair, behind it would be Fox, and then on the side you could have the little whirlpool thing. Uh, you have some cabinets with some kind of collectibles. We don't see any potions though, so uh, it is a little strange. But not really. First off, this is 2010, and even nowadays, you know, how, uh, other than like stickers, how do you bring these little things to life? In terms of up here, we have the old sorting hat and the Gryffindor, uh, Gryffindor sword. Now, these both do lie in his uh, office, and as a matter of fact, the sorting hat is a bit above, you know, it's, it's on a little shelf, so we'll say this part actually is accurate. Overall, this little section, while not incredibly accurate, you can just pretend <laughs> that this is somewhere in the castle. And again, we don't necessarily know if this is true or not, but uh, I don't know, probably pro maybe a four out of 10. They have the idea of these things, just wrong places and kind of not done too incredibly. Moving this over to the side, we'll go to the next part you're supposed to put here. So here I have the connector still on, but this is the original Great Hall. Uh, in terms of exterior, it has the idea, just not as well put together as the more recent one. First off, I think we all probably would prefer the gray. Uh, I definitely prefer the gray. And I will say that 
in the original movies, one, one and two, directed by Chris Columbus, they are green. That changes to gray. Why? I don't know, but I do prefer it. Uh, I just think the green looks, you know, a little strange. I, I don't know. I just prefer the gray, I guess. <clears throat> uh, so, here actually it's very similar to what we have. Uh, the new Great Hall uh, has better, I would say, pieces here, um, but it still uses these black pieces. Now the new one has or it still uses these brown pieces. The new one has black pieces that go inside here, but uh, I guess you can excuse that. Where this gets a little strange is the side. So it would make sense right here to have a door, right? And wow, we never see glass windows like that at all. They're kind of cool, but the other side is so weird because we know that the, uh, you know, it hangs out a bit. And we do have this little detail of this window that pops out, uh, but it doesn't have that same grandeur that the one on the new Hogwarts castle has. Uh, though it does still have the kinda, oops, it still, it still has that kinda uh, vibe up here with the tower here, right here, that little tower. Um, but yeah, the biggest fault here for me is these weird glass windows. Uh, I just think they're kind of strange. And they're not actual glass, obviously. I'm just calling them glass windows. Going in, we again have a similar situation where uh, it, it's kind of strange because again, in the normal, in the actual Great Hall, you know, we'll look down a bit. Um, in the actual Great Hall, the teacher's tables would be right here and the, uh, the, uh, the students' tables would be here. For some reason here, even though they do have this poking out window that's supposed to represent the back of the Great Hall, they have two chairs and Dumbledore's uh, kind of chair there. And then two tables, which the new one has four. Not in the same way that it is in the movies, but it's at least it still has four. This, however, does not. Overall, it has... Oh, and it also comes with these, but we only get Slyther, uh, Slytherin and Gryffindor, not Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. Kind of sad. Uh, so in terms of accuracy, it has the vibe down, and this is a more iconic piece than the, the, uh, this one we just looked at, you know, the Great Hall is recognizable, but, you know, it just kind of fails at that, so I'd probably have to give this one a 5 out of 10, a bit more accurate than the last one we looked at, but still not the greatest. Moving that to the side here where I won't knock everything over. We have the dorms classroom. We're gonna have to look back up. You can see it up there. Um, we have the towers. You have the part that comes out. The base right here, uh, you know, those are around the same size. And then this part that pops out and then you got the three iconic towers here. So in terms of exterior, you know what? This one actually like <laughs> really is, a bit more accurate than the newer one, or 2018 newer one, because just for the simple reason that it sticks out here, uh, and just the shape in general, a bit more circular. When you're at the scale, I guess, you know, you have to make sacrifices, and the newer one chooses, I just knocked this over, chooses a different route. Man, I did make a mess right there, whatever. Um, chooses a different route. Yeah, I don't know. My Again, I think I still prefer the newer one, but I do give this tremendous props for how good it looks. Um, moving around here, oh, and by the way, this little piece right here is a part that's just made to connect the you know pieces together, the, the main structures. Uh, we'll start with the bottom here, taking a look down. I don't know how well you can see in there, but that's the Gryffindor room. So you got a newspaper of Harry, a little Gryffindor sign, some snakes on the wall. Moving up one, we have Tom Riddle's diary, which turns around to reveal this knight right here, and there's a little spider. And moving up one, we have the Gryffindor, where you have Sirius in the fire, the Marauder's map, and more chairs. And then moving up one more, we have some owls. So zooming back out to get a wider view here. 
Um, I have to say this one actually is a better representation of this tower than the newer set. While I prefer the look of the newer set, in all honesty, uh, the newer set's weird because it's not too accurate. These are the dorm classrooms. I mean, it makes sense. You'd have the dorms next to like the lunchroom and then on the other side of the dorms would be the classrooms. Uh, it's just a little strange how the new one did it. This one, however, you get the dorms for both Slytherin and Gryffindor, and while we don't see much of Slytherin, what we do see, that's technically accurate, we do see a couple chairs and some newspapers. For Gryffindor, we see a little more, but with the limited space, I love what they chose. We have the serious Black and the fire, the fireplace in general, and some seating. And it's cool to have that extra minifigure almost. Yeah, it is an extra minifigure. You get an extra minifigure in the night, which is concealed um, behind the cool Time Riddles diary. It's cool to have kind of the hour, hourly, owlry, owlry, um, because I'm thinking that that could be another uh, small little like $30 set we're gonna get as a Hogwarts expansion eventually, as we do hear a lot about the owl, owlry. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so it is cool to see it here, and uh, I have to give this one a 9 out of 10 in terms of accuracy. Uh, it would have been a bit better if these two slots were for Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, but we've never seen their dorm, so we wouldn't even know what to do there, so I give tremendous props. Moving over to our fourth and final one right here, we have uh, another kind of similar vibe to the first one we looked at. It's not a truly iconic spot but it fits better, I think, as just a miscellaneous part of the castle, as there's no door entrance, so it feels almost less significant, which is a good thing because it's supposed to be just a random part of the tower, and so I do like that. And so the exterior already has props on accuracy. Moving to the interior, we have, I guess technically it would be the rumor requirement because you have the uh, vanishing cabinet, and it wouldn't make, the vanishing cabinet only appears in the Hogwarts castle in the rumor requirement. So I guess this is technically the rumor requirement. Moving up, we have the library, I guess. And then we have a little uh, place like telescope. And so I guess technically that would be the uh, astronomy part, though in the expansion we see in 2011, we have a more traditional and correct astronomy so i'll just say this is just a random telescope on the top of the tower which we do know there are many parts where you can get to the top tower in both the books and movies we see them on top of certain towers and little posts often so we'll just say this is not supposed to be the astronomy portion and move down here now we don't know the geography technically but I will say that we do know the library would be closer to the Great Hall, as we know that the Mirror of Aristod is stored close to the uh, uh, library, and the library, or er, the Mirror of Aristod, is relatively close to the dorms. So we do know that this probably is actually a bit accurate. Rumor requirement, on the other hand, we have no clue about the geography here. We know that you need to go down a long corridor to get it, and we don't see, we do actually see that corridor, I think, multiple times, but it, we have no sense of how close it may be to the dorms, and again, this is supposed to connect right to the dorm tower right there, so it should be right next door. And you could say that it's pretty accurate. Um, I mean, the room requirement obviously was much bigger than this, uh, and the library is much different than this, but. It has the right vibe, and if they were to do it in the new ones, I'd hope that they'd actually do just kind of a miscellaneous tower like this, but a bit bigger, maybe $60, $70, and on the interior have enough space to include a fully fleshed out uh, couple of classrooms or the library or the room requirement, you know, something iconic uh, and a miscellaneous build, because I do wonder what they're going to do next for the Hogwarts Castle. Uh, I feel they've ran out of all their iconic parts. And I was thinking they could do those like two towers that connect, or you know, that, that building that connects uh, with the viaduct to the Great Hall. But I realized that that's actually part of the astronomy tower. If you look next to it, it's super small and it, that's why I didn't even notice it's supposed to be that. But it is. So they're really out of like iconic pieces. So we'll see what they do next or if they even do anything next. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this new style video. I know it's kind of a long one at 15 minutes, but 
I thought it was interesting. Uh, if you want me to do more of these, you know, just like, watch the video and all that jazz, and I'll be able to do more stuff. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.